Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, to the 1987 Super Mod. I'm your host, as always, Brad Drake, and this is my AWA save. We are in week four of February 1988. It is Saturday night, and the AWA is cruising over to Minneapolis, Minnesota, and we are going to be running the Minneapolis Auditorium. And let's take a look at our backstage incidents. Nothing but some protege work. No problem. Let's see who's absent. Nothing but the usuals except for Mr. Saito. And we'll see in a minute if Mr. Saito is going to be on the card and if it is going to affect us. All right. Here is our card on our new tour. So we are in day two of the tour here. Remember, we run a three-day tour and it cycles through for each town. Well, we are on day two, Saturday night. And Candy Devine is going to meet Wendy Richter in the opener. The Nasty Boys are going to battle the Top Guns. The Terrorist is going to face Scott Steiner. Steve Olsonowski will meet Sheik Adnan LKC in singles action. Doug Summers is going to challenge Greg Gagne for the world television title. Bobby Duncan is going to face Nick Bockwinkle. Bad Company is going to face the Guerrero Brothers in the semi-main tag team action. And in our main event... Larry Zabisco is going to battle Jerry the King Lawler. This is a big card, ladies and gentlemen, on a big night in Minneapolis. So let's get to booking. All right, Divine and Richter in the main event. Richter, of course, is no longer in a feud with Sherry Martell, where she did manage to capture the World Women's title once but was not able to capture it again. All right, we are going to put Wendy Richter over here in the opener. Ten minutes. And again, these ladies are part of our strategic plan to cut down on, women's re on uh, the amount of women that we had so we can utilize all the women that we do have. All right, next is going to be the Nasty Boys versus Top Guns. The Top Guns, and of course... These two teams feuded before, but it's only good for them to keep feuding, so we'll do it again. That's the way pro wrestling works. And Nobbs, who was out injured, is back healthy and back in action. So he's going to get the win for his team. And we're rolling right along here. The Terrorist versus Scott Steiner in 12 minutes. And this might be the case where the Terrorist never actually wins a match. <laughs> We're going to continue pushing Scott Steiner and doing everything we can to get him over. I have very high hopes for him for the future. And there it is. Scott Steiner with the win over the terrorist, also known as Stormy Granzig. And Olsonowski is going to face Sheik Adnan LKC here. They're going to go 14. There's Olsonowski, and there is LKC, and LKC is going to get the win here, and it's going to be dirty. So there's the tainted win for the Sheik, who was a legit Sheik. As I've said before, I just finished reading his book. I thought it was excellent. It was another fun and interesting insight into pro wrestling, but his stories from Iraq, wow. They were really something else. And uh, I highly recommend his book to each and every one of you. It is a very, very entertaining read. All right, here's Doug Summers. And he is facing Greg Gagne. He's challenging for that title. Greg Gagne is going to get the win here. And make a defense of his title here in Minneapolis. All right, we have Duncan versus Bockwinkle here, and they are going to go 16. How long did I make Summers? And... Okay, they can go 14. We'll get that straightened out next time. And Bobby Duncan is going to beat Nick Bockwinkle here, but it's going to be by count out. Going to be a Chinzy win here.
All right, next we have the team of Bad Company, who is back healthy against the Guerrero brothers. This one I'm interested to see how we're going to do score-wise. We just saw a taste of them in the spot show, but Diamond was still injured. So I am curious to see how it goes here. And, of course, the Guerrero brothers are going to get the win. And, you know, just like every time we do these tours, if we got to change things up, we'll change things up. It's no problem. All right, next, we have Zabisco versus Lawler. And to keep things clean and easy, we are going to have Larry Zabisco go over so we continue to go face heel, face heel, face heel on the wins. Here is Jerry Lawler. And, of course, after this appearance, we have to do another trade agreement to get Lawler back. So we have Larry, Z uh, sorry, <laughs> Larry Zabisco is going to get the win. And of course, it's going to be a tainted win. So 30 minutes on those two. We're at our usual time of 140 minutes. So that's two hours and 22 minutes. That's a good time for a tour. We're in the Minneapolis Auditorium. Uh, very fun, cool, historic venue for wrestling. And I'm curious to see how this one's going to play out because this could go either way this card, everybody. All right, let's go ahead and get rolling here. And Richter over Divine with that sit-out powerbomb, 58 overall. Nice score for a ladies' match. Hey, look at this. The Nasty Boys and the Top Guns get a 60. So both teams are continuing to improve here. Excellent. Uh, let's see what their takeaways are still. It's probably going to be a lot. Inconsistency and experience. Good. All right, but you can see both teams are getting over. Next, Scott Steiner gets the win over the terrorists with that Northern Light suplex hold. I dig it. Steiner's got inexperienced, and that's his only gig. All right, real nice score here for Olsenowski and LKC, a 77 overall. And, of course, the Sheik gets the win with the Indian Deathlock after he cheated. So you're going to assume he hit him with something and then locked him in that Deathlock and got the victory. All right, Doug Summers. And Greg Gagne, a 77 and 85, and we only get a 78 overall. That's disappointing. I don't quite understand why. Um, but as we know, sometimes there's just a random screw job from TEW, and I'm thinking this is probably the case here. All right. Uh, I got Blackwinkle and Dunk. I'm only get a 78. Are you kidding me? This is a horrible score. The only takeaway is declining physical ability on Bachwinkle. 83-81, they're both mega over in the Midwest. We get a 78 overall? Well, that's some bullshit. That's another screw job by TEW. Boy, I'm getting nervous about the score of this show. We only get a 75 here for Bad Company and the Guerrero Brothers. And unless our main event does outstanding, we could be in some trouble here, everybody. All right, the takeaway is Paul Diamond inexperience, and that's it. I'm nervous. <laughs> Not anymore after that main event. 96 overall, outstanding. Outstanding score. Terrific. We should be okay. And we are 90 overall. Increase of our popularity. All right, we got to point out Zabisco. We have to point out Lawler. And I'd also like to point out Sheik Adnan LKC. So great performance, great performance, good performance. We're going to make the speech. Zabisco is pleased, Lawler is pleased, and LKC is pleased. Terrific. So this puts us right on to tour date number 22 coming up. And we're heading south to La Crosse. And I'm pretty happy so far with the tour. I'm not happy with some of those scores. I think some of those scores are a little, are a lot lower than they should be. But our main events have been stellar. So I can't complain too much. All right, now I'm going to show you for any of you that are new to the channel, we have to get Jerry Lawler back. Okay? So Major League Wrestling is doing okay in ratings. 
Championship Wrestling is doing outstanding. Good. Adrian Adonis uh, won a w WWC title. Okay. All right, so here's how you do this, folks. We are going to add Jerry Jarrett to the game. And we're going to play as Jerry Jarrett. We're going to play as the owner. Okay, so now Jerry Jarrett's added to the game. So let's try something here. Nah, we're not even going to we're not even going to do that. It should take us now to Jarrett and shouldn't go straight to our next tour date. There we go. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here we are. Yeah, we're in there as Jarrett. So what we want to do is we want to get a trade. Even though we're in an alliance, uh, we really can't get the trades for too long with an alliance. And then you'll get to the point where they don't want to trade you anymore, which I think is stupid because it's the whole purpose of being in an alliance. But anyway, um, so we are in, you know, I always forget how to do this. That drives me nuts. We're looking for talent trades here. Briefcase. Talent trades right there. Okay, here we go. Um, I want to give Jerry Lawler And I want the Texas Hangman. And we want 10 appearances. So that would give Killer and Psycho some much needed experience. And then would. Um, Get Jerry Lawler back with the AWA. Okay, so we're going to send the proposal over to the AWA, which is myself. And then we're going to go forward here. It's going to take us back. But, of course, it's going to put us right in the booking screen. So we're going to have to wait until after the show to agree to the deal. Unless I can get in there this way, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't. So we have to wait till after the show. So um, before we start the next show, I'll clue you in, uh, all of you that are new, and you'll get to see how it works. So that's going to do it for us here for this episode. For uh, this tour date, we're going to be rolling on to La Crosse, Wisconsin for our next tour date. So if you haven't done so already, folks, please Hit that subscribe button, give us a like, share this video with your friends. Also, join us in conversation about everything 1987 Supermod at Facebook.com slash groups slash 1987 Supermod. And last but not least, if you would like version 7.0 of the Supermod, go to braddrake.net, drop me a line, and I'll send you over a link to our Google Drive page where you can download the database and the picture pack. Thanks for watching, everybody. So long for now.